How to use find files in a Jenkins file. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.1. Now, what is find files? Find files is a step that is available within the pipeline utility steps plugin. Let's take a look at it. What find files does is it finds files within the current working directory. The step then returns an array of file info objects whose properties you can see and iterate on. So what does that mean to us? Well, for this video, there's also a sample repository. The link to that repository is down in the description. Let's take a look at it. So what we have are three Jenkins files and then a couple of other files within the repository. Let's first take a look at Jenkins file one. What we'll see here is that we are just running the step find files with no parameters. We're taking that output of that, loading it into a files variable, and then we're iterating on that and just printing out the name of the file. There are other values available. We're just focusing on name for this video. So if we go ahead and take a look at this, over off on the side, we can see we have a readme, three Jenkins files, a git ignore, and a couple of directories, an images directory and a content directory. Let's go over to our controller and take a look at the output of one. So if we take a look here, what we're going to see is we see our .git directory, which isn't seen. We see our .git ignore, which we also saw over in our repository. And then our three Jenkins files, a readme, and a couple of directories. But we don't see all of the files because I also have files down in the content directory and also in the images directory. So if I only wanted to be able to see files from within the images directory, how do I do that? So if we take a look at our documentation, we can see that we can include by using glob and we can also do an exclude. So in our first example, we just said, give me everything back. But that everything didn't recurse through the directory trees. It just gave me the top level where I was. If we go back over and take a look at our Jenkins file two, what we're going to do is we're going to look for all of the files anywhere within an images directory. And we'll list those back. So let's go ahead and go back over to our controller, take a look at the output of two. And with two, what we're going to see, we're going to see three images. We're going to see background GIF, JPEG, and PNG. If we take a look at our directory here, expand out images, we see that we had background GIF, JPEG, and PNG. But let's say for a moment that we want to go ahead and ignore any files that end in GIF. Well, let's take a look at Jenkins file three. In this case, we're adding in an exclude of any file that ends in .gif. So what does that mean? Well, let's go back into our controller and take a look at three. Within three, take a look at the log, now we only see background JPEG and background PNG. So we can easily use find files to help us find files within our current workspace. And then we could operate on those files if they existed or maybe if they didn't exist. It just gives us the ability to look and work with files within our workspace. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment. Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.